selection right there is actually uh, my father and his friend Hector. Back in the day, they recorded that song, No Water. And that's why my channel is named No Motherfucking Water. Because ain't no water. I wouldn't spit on your ass if you was on fire. Alright, but anyway. Welcome back, welcome back. Welcome back to my channel, welcome back to my office. Um, I'm very tired today. I was really debating on whether I was going to do this video or take my motherfucking ass to bed. Because y'all keep me in your prayers. Because when someone's aging, they go through changes. And, you know, like before my mother passed, she didn't go through a lot of the changes of the aging and everything. Like my father is. Like, so just keep me in your prayers. Because I'm the one have to deal with all of this. I'm the one got to figure things out. I'm the one got to figure out plans of care. I'm the one got to figure out every fucking thing. How I'm going to do this, how I'm going to do that, and I'm by myself. All right? I don't have no help. All right? You know, my son, he comes and helps me every now and then. But, you know, um, my sister-in-law, she helps me. My brother, he come by and help me. Sometimes my brother flies in and helps me. But, you know, for the most part, Rebel is alone. All right? And it's not easy being a caregiver, you know, by yourself. All right? So keep that in mind. And like when y'all don't, like I said, when you, you don't see videos consistently, that's because of some, some things going on, all right? But anyway, I had notes and all of this stuff I had gathered and pulled together, but I don't even need that shit. Because what I'm about to say is things that I already know, all right? And, um, oh yeah, and you fucking asshole. I'm just going to address this shit because this cat emailed me. And I be getting emails, but not many. But this cat emailed me talking shit. Why my woman leave me if I'm so rich? That what you want to know? Why did she leave me if I'm so rich? Let me tell you something. She left me before I was rich, okay? She left me uh, way before I was rich. And the reason I am rich, and I want y'all to motherfucking know this shit, because I'm not flexing. Uh, my mother passed away and she had some things in storage for my grandparents. Let's just say they had some very valuable things in that storage unit when I paid $3,000 to get it shipped from Texas to Georgia, all right? Let's just say that three grand I spent turned into a lot more, all right? Because it was some, some, an object in there, hey, worth a lot of money, all right? So, and, and on top of that, the government has poisoned my mother and father. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Government is responsible for my mother's death. And a bitch is about to get paid two more times. So I'm going to be a quadrillionaire, all right? All right, motherfucker? Since you want to fucking throw shade? Talking about if I'm so rich, why did my woman leave me? Because she's a dumb bitch. All right? 
I'm pretty sure she's sitting somewhere right now vomiting and crying, all right? And kicking the shit out of herself. Getting up at four in the morning, going to work and do motherfuckers dialysis with that nigga she left me for. Both of them got to get up at four in the morning and get the fuck out of there and get to work. How about that? Mm. But anyway, asshole. Um, now, I had all these notes and all this stuff put together, wrote down, orchestrated. I don't need it because y'all got modern women because, first of all, I'm going to tell you I start. I'm going to take it back to the 40s, all right? Let's go back to the 40s. Back when women stayed in the house and the men took care of them, all right? The men would go out to work, and the woman's place was in the house. She was in the house. She took care of everything. She took care of the home. That was a woman's place. Understand? So, coming up through the years, decades, that was a woman's place. Feeling like on the temptation. Hayes and Mama Rose. They was always in the kitchen. Always taking care of the kids. Always taking care of the house. Made sure that they man came home to a cooked meal. All that old shit. Now. Let's fast forward to the 70s. And the 60s. You got this new drug called crack cocaine. This ain't no weed, right? This ain't no weed. I ain't talking about like the 60s when no everybody was a motherfucking flower child and running around and got down smoking pot. Alright? That ain't what we talking about here. Speaking of smoking pot. That ain't what we talking about here. Alright? So, let's fast forward to the 70s. When Frank Lucas and them. Came on out with that hair on and that crack rock. And oh, what a number it did on black families, black society, black everything. It did a number on us. I'm ashy. I don't care. It don't matter. But ashy knuckles, baby. It don't matter. I'm rich and ashy. I don't give a fuck. And I'm a debunk fucking myths about rich motherfuckers too. We don't spend no money. We don't spend no money, man. <laughs> we don't. <laughs> the richer I get, the cheaper I get. My dad said, don't become a miser. Oh, uh, well, um, I'm pretty much on my way to becoming a miser. But anyway, um, so you got this crack rock. And heroin. All right. It did a number on our society. People love them drugs more than they love their wives, more than they love their job, more than they love <coughs> more than they love their children. <coughs> you hear me? More than they love their children. This is when the mom, the the homemaker, that that same Hayes and Mama Rose. Well, Hayes and Mama Rose, since they man got on crack, now they got to go out and support their family because he done left the family. Every time he work, he, he don't bring home his paycheck because he's gambling it away or smoking it up. All right? So you got gambling, like on, on, on Harlem Nights. You got juke joints. You got all of this stuff coming into play now. So this, this gives the black culture more crap to focus on other than just segregation and things like that all right when crack came out it destroyed it killed and it fucked families up bro now all of this is going to tell I'm going I'm, I'm I'm going somewhere with this all right because it's a it's a reason why you got women out here mine ain't fucking right and they can't fathom the fact of being submissive 
or even fucking having someone take care of them because they're afraid. All right. Okay, so all of this shit started from fear. All right. Crack and fear. So then men became homemongers. All right. They stopped coming home. Stopped coming home. They stopped bringing their paychecks home. Now they got a girlfriend that smoked the same dope they smoke. Shoot the same dope they shoot. So that's where daddy paycheck done gone. To another woman who, who do dope with him. He gone. He gone. He done left his wife and three, four kids. So then the mother then has to figure out child care. She got to figure out how she going to go get this money, how she going to pay these bills, how she going to feed these children. That's when you start having hoes. Follow me now. Listen, follow me. Follow me, man. Just follow me, all right? If you follow me, you'll end up some fucking well. See, a lot of this shit I'm on finna say. I've been telling niggas this shit since 2009. And motherfucker want to tell me I'm crazy. Like me, people arguing me and my brother down when we, we used to say Tupac wasn't dead. That nigga ain't dead. Well, he might be dead now. I think he did pass away recently. But Tupac wasn't fucking dead in 96. I don't give a fuck what nobody say. Tupac wasn't dead. He was very much alive. Yeah, he did, he did, he did. Okay, whatever. When the trade centers got blew up, I said, yeah, y'all know the government did that. Oh, you crazy. This, that, and the third. Oh, no, they didn't. They ain't do no shit like that. Our government won't do no shit like Our government sat there and poisoned fucking Marines in Camp Lejeune. And didn't say shit. Didn't say shit. And when motherfuckers start getting sick, Babies dying. You know what the government told them? Buzz off. Well, my parents tried to sue the government for making them both ill. Back in 2012, you know what the government told them? Oh, you don't have cancer, so we don't have to pay you. Now I'm minus a mom in nursing my fucking father. That ain't fair. When this motherfucker's out here got parents 80 and 90 years old, I'm jealous. Motherfuckers got their moms and shit walking with them and they mama 80 and 90 years old, I'm fucking jealous. Because mine, I was robbed of my parents. I was robbed. I was robbed of their golden years. I've been taking care of my mom and dad since 2015, bro. All right, so all of this modern ass shit, modern ass person wouldn't have took care of their parents because my modern ass girlfriend had a problem with me taking care of my mother and father and leaving my job. I left my job. I sold dope. I got my mama and daddy out the fucking hood. I took my ass back to work. So more dope. Before I had to stop selling dope because it just wasn't getting me anywhere. Because I had the job, so I just kept the job. And then when the job got a bit too crazy for me, too demanding, motherfuckers ain't never one. I had a management position, of course. Come on now, I'm rubs. They gon' they I, I manage everything. Managing the two fucking houses and shit, behavior working in behavioral health. Got me one one on one with a nigga that fucking. Let me tell you how bad I am. Let me tell you how fucking bad I am. Them motherfuckers I work for put me with a nigga that requires three men. Three men. He required three men. I can't say his name, but he required three men. Now I don't drop names. Either. So when I seen this nigga's BSP, I'm saying here like, this say he need three men. Why the fuck y'all giving them to me? The lady who was my boss at the time says, oh, you can handle it. And just hands me the file and walks off. 
And I'm going to tell you something. I got that motherfucker in that car the first day. And this is, I ain't supposed to do this. And I don't give a fuck. I ain't, but I ain't supposed to do this. And whatever. I don't work there no more. But I told him, I say, man. I, I, I learned all about you today. Oh, yeah, yeah. I said, ah. Oh. I said, I heard you like to spit and hit girls. I said, you like to spit and hit girls? Oh, I would never spit and hit you. I said, let me tell you something. I heard you like to fight, too. Oh, no, but I, I, I would never fight you. I said, hey, man, let me tell you something. I said, you spit on me? I said, I'm going to spit back at you. I said, you hit me? I said, I'm going to kick your ass. I said, and I carry, too, man. I ain't had no problems out there, cat. None. Now, the problem came when I would leave and be off. I have to roll up there because the nigga done tore up my damn house. Not my house, but the house I was working at. So, I'm a bad motherfucker. Okay? I done did a lot. So, if I say some shit to you, if I say some shit on this fucking channel, listen, be all ears. Because I ain't got no bullshit between these ears, bruh. None whatsoever. And I was raised right. All right? Anyway, so now you got hoes because they got to figure out how to take care of these goddamn kids all by themselves. Because majority of the men are out there messing with other women and smoking dope. All right? So. That is when the independent woman was born from crack. Y'all follow me. I know I get a little off task. I do. I get a little off task. I do. But y'all follow me, right? All right. So now you got the hoe. Okay. And she's got to figure out how she's going to take care of them kids. Yeah. So that's where you come in with tricking men, playing games with them, and guess who sees it? The little girls she's raising. Guess who else sees it? The little boys she's raising. They see their daddies leave. They see their daddies not be shit. They see their daddies hit their mother because the mother keep asking them to stop smoking dope. Now he want to fight and be abusive. So you get now you got a bunch of little brothers want to hit women, want to be abusive. Y'all wonder why we so fucked up. Y'all wonder why we so fucked up. This shit started from generations ago and passed down. That's why it's up to us to break these generational curses and end these cycles. But you can't end the cycle if you're in the cycle. Understand? You got to get out the fucking cycle to end the motherfucking cycle. You understand motherfucking what the fuck I'm saying? So you got modern women because of that. Watching the mama having to do everything. And you know what that mama then comes back and tell her daughter because she been out there sucking and fucking every fucking Joe around the fucking corner trying to feed their ass? Don't let no man take care of you. Always look out for yourself. Always do for yourself. Because shit like this happens. I'm just telling you so. Everybody want to scream modern woman this, modern woman that. Modern, modern, modern. Listen, stop letting her be modern. And a lot of y'all niggas, I'm telling you, man. A lot of y'all niggas out here. I really like the Black Light Podcast. I really do. But Thon Lexi, nigga, you soft. A bitch will run all over your ass and then some, boy. And you sitting around here talking about modern women. Nigga, I bet you ain't even fucked 20 times in your life. It crazy, man. The, the, the niggas I see out here imitating Kevin Samuels, man. Y'all niggas is y'all niggas is sad. Y'all niggas is fucking sad. That Alexa even got the little spinning little fucking thing, Kevin Samuels. Nigga, you sad. Nigga, you fucking sad. I like the Black Life Podcast. It entertaining, though. But nigga, you sad, bro. You ain't got, nigga, you ain't got no bass in your voice, no backbone, nigga. You be on that bitch looking scared. You be on that bitch looking nervous as fuck. 
Like somebody gonna call you out for acting like Kevin Samuels. You wasn't drinking nothing, but now, now all of a sudden you sipping, sipping your little cup. Nigga, stop. Nigga, be yourself. What the fuck is wrong with all you little niggas? This nigga died. Now everybody want to step up and be Kevin and shit. Like, stop. Just stop. You can't be Kevin. He's dead. Let it go. Let that nigga rest, man. Y'all niggas got, he got a whole, he done left a whole sea of children out in this bitch that he didn't even know he had. <laughs> and it was a shame the amount of motherfuckers paying to comment on this nigga platform. Oh my God. I swear to God. I swear to God. The night before that nigga got killed, because I think he got killed. I'm just saying. But the night before that nigga got killed, I was in his live. And I went to comment. And I couldn't comment. It said members only. I was like, members? So I hit the little button. And it got all these little memberships listed is what you could pay to be his little member. Yo, niggas was actually paying to be on that nigga shit comment. <laughs> Y'all niggas, y'all niggas was actually paying to talk on this nigga platform. <laughs> and he ain't pay none of y'all no mind. Y'all paying this nigga and he just he don't even give a fuck about your comments. What are you paying for? What are you paying for? And that's part of where the fuck I'm going with this shit. Because you motherfuckers are sheeple. You're fucking sheeple. You can be led any fucking where. All somebody gotta do is tie a rope around your fucking neck, finger, it toe, nose, head. Don't matter. He lead your ass wherever the fuck. Tell you, tell you, just take they dick out, and piss on your ass. Tell you it's raining and you ass tasting piss, smelling piss, seeing fucking yellow everywhere, and you don't give a fuck. Oh, okay. Well, it ain't taste funny, but all right. That's y'all. That's people. Not y'all, not my subscribers. I ain't talking about y'all. Talking about fucking people. I'm talking about fucking people. Idiots out here. Alright? So, alright, so now you got the hoes. Making, 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 making little violent little boys and, and, and whole ass little girls. Alright? So, now we get into the good part where you got the abusers now. And the hoes getting together. The abusers and the hoes getting together now. The little hoes and the ab little abusers getting together. And here we go. It is. That's how it's going down. So now you got the abusers and the hoes getting together and they're making these babies. And then, and then he beating the shit out of the motherfucking woman. She go out and leave him and for another man. Now you got a little boy don't know what to do. The man beat him too. Beating him. Now he's soft. Now here you go. Got all them soft little, these soft soft-ass little, little niggas. Because they got these daddies that beat the shit out the mommy. And the mommy who's left all alone with this little boy babying the fuck out his ass. Now you're making little fucking punks and little simps and little... Little boys that sit here and feel like they got to kiss a woman's ass. Because they done seen nothing but ass whooping. In all reality, you do not have to kiss a woman's ass. Because she hates that shit. I know women. They don't like when a nigga kisses their ass. They hate that shit. They despise that fucking shit. They, they can't stand that shit. That shit pisses them off. It makes them fucking mad. Understand? Okay. All right. So now you got the little soft ass niggas. Got that going on. So now you got the soft niggas and the hoes still raising more generation of hoes. Okay. Because I told y'all, I'm seeing people older than me on Lauren Lake looking for their diet, looking for their man. I mean, not look for their mammy, but with their mammy, look for their daddy. And bitches, old ass bitches look like my grandmas and shit sitting up there talking about that's your daddy and it don't be the daddy. Granny, use a hoe. Like, the fuck? So, fuck.
from the 70s. Think about how long it's been since the 70s. When shit start really taking a fucked up turn in a black family. Shit really start going to be the fucked up. Mm -hmm. Think about this shit. Alright, so it's been a very long time. So now, everything's been evolved. All that shit evolved, bro. Now you got the 90s. Ooh. Ooh. Now I'm going to tell you something about them 90s. Uh. Hold on to your seatbelts. Because I told motherfuckers about this shit. And it's everywhere on YouTube now. Every blankety blank where, every fucking where, bro. And I told y'all motherfuckers about this shit. And I told y'all what they was fucking doing. And y'all niggas thought I was fucking, fucking. Y'all thought we was fucking out and left fucking field somewhere. That's right, but you know. Y'all thought I was out and left fucking field somewhere. Me and the people I fuck with, man, we've been saying all of this shit, man, about how these niggas been plotting on y'all motherfuckers. How they be fucking putting shit out here for y'all. So the 90s, there was a secret meeting. There was a secret meeting held about private prisons being built. Okay? Hear me out. And you can fucking go Google this shit. You can go Google this shit and you can go look it on YouTube. I ain't got no reason to lie. I've been on to these motherfuckers since I was in my 20s. Actually, since I was in my teens, I've been on to these motherfuckers. That's why I say, I do what I do because I want to. I ain't doing this shit for no YouTube plaque. I ain't doing this shit to get paid. Fuck, fuck YouTube. I don't need them niggas. I don't need their money. I don't need shit. They start demonetizing or monetizing. I don't give a damn fuck because y'all niggas is right next to Hollywood. With that control shit. You ain't gonna slap no slave collar on me. And he's not gonna control me. You And I can't be bought. You can't send me nothing and I smile and say, okay, hell to the now. Hm. I can't be bought. You can't send me no bitch. None of that shit. That won't have motherfuckers in here to clean my damn house and, 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 and drive me around and do all that crazy shit. Nigga with money be spending money on stupid shit. I bust my head clean to my own goddamn house. What I look like being fucking vulnerable, having a motherfucking stop my cleaning lady on the street. Try to goddamn grease her palm or something. The fuck me up. Hmm? My cook. Pay him to put something in my food. Pay my chauffeur to drive me into an ambush. And little do they know. They gonna get straight attrition. Dead ass. So, there was a secret meeting about private prisons being built. The fuck away from my drink. Hope I got his ass. But, there was a secret meeting. Alright? They got all the artists, movie producers, and filmmakers and music makers together and made them sign something. A non-disclosure agreement. I got one out there signing my damn self on some more money I'm about to get. But anyway, a non-disclosure agreement. All right. Now, when you sign in a non-disclosure agreement, it's some serious shit going on. Some serious fucking shit. 
Listen to me, man. So in this meeting, after they signed these agreements, some people left. Some niggas was told to leave. Alright? And they was told to leave after they signed them. <laughs> and they talking about it. They don't give a fuck. You know why they talking about it? Because the veil done came off. And the shit done hit the fan. And it ain't nothing to hide the truth from y'all motherfucking no more. This shit is in your face now. It's a lot of people friending me back on Facebook. Inboxing me. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't realize what you was trying to say. It was stupid to unfriend you because of my political views. Man, bro, listen. I completely understand. It's called brainwashing. You were brainwashed. Maybe now, since that shit hitting your ass in a fucking pocketbook and in a gas tank and in a fucking pantry, now you hear me. Now you see. Now it made your ass go and research why the fuck everything is so fucked up and what the hell is going on, right? So, the artists and movie makers and all these motherfuckers in this meeting. Y'all want to hit it, don't you? They were told that they need more violent music produced. And more violent movies produced. Because they need a way to fill up those prisons being built. <laughs> you don't hear me. You don't motherfucking hear me. You don't fucking hear me. And I've been saying this shit. Forever. Forever. I've been telling the motherfuckers, hey, yo, watch what you be listening to. Watch what you be letting your kids listen to. Watch what you fucking let your kids watch. So fucking watch that shit. When my kids was little, everything they watched, I watched first. Any new movie came out, I watched that shit first. Understand? I did. That little bald head, little cracker ass, cracker Caillou. Don't let your kids watch him. Don't let your kids watch that motherfucker. He's a little asshole. And he teach your kids how to be little assholes. And that fucking pepper pig. Don't let your kids watch that fucking shit. Don't let your kids look at Coco Melon and teaching them how to be fucking crybaby weirdos. Y'all better watch this stuff. Stop fucking being so tired and uh putting them in front of something and you ain't paying attention to that shit. <laughs> so in this meeting, they told them they need a way to fill up these prisons, y'all. Y'all, if you pay attention, the music started to change in the 90s, didn't it? Yeah, shit started to change. And uh, people went on with the program, too. That's why a lot of the Queen Latifahs disappeared and the NC Lights and fucking KRS-1s and all those guys. They they got the fuck on. They want that. They want part of, the fuck part of that shit. All right? Then you got all these fucking hoe rappers that came out. That's around the time Lil Duke Kim came out. I love me some Lil Duke Kim, but I never agree with some of the shit she's saying in the fucking rhymes. Like, bitch, damn. You telling these girls to be hoes. Foxy Brown. She came out with her bop All that shit. The bread of tat tat came out making bitches goddamn ready to slap motherfuckers. With her violent ass, she violent too. She still got it in her. Shit, hey man, ain't, hey man, ain't, ain't nothing wrong with being angry. You know what I'm saying? But all I'm saying is this shit influence folks. 
All this shit influenced folks. And it changed things. And y'all wondering, around, wondering why you got all these women running around here, running all over the fucking men, telling men what to do, telling them what they ain't going to do, telling niggas what, excuse me, telling gentlemen what they're going to accept and what they're not going to accept. <laughs> so, what? Y'all. Hmm? That's why you got that shit. I just broke it down for you. You got this shit because it's a combination of crack, hoeing, and fucking being brainwashed. Crack, hoeing, abuse, and being fucking brainwashed. You got all that shit stirring in the pot. That's why you got these fucking women out here that can't even get a fire on the plate. Just gone. Motherfuckers don't know nothing if you hit them in the face. They, they don't know. They on autopilot. With that bullshit. So. That's what happened, y'all. So now. To solidify this shit. To solidify. This shit. It's just some things y'all going to have to stop accepting. And in some ways, you're going to have to stop being. Stop. You're going to have to stop being. You're going to have to stop accepting being. All of that. Men, y'all out here talking about these women. Did you forget that? You're a man. Man up. Sit their asses down. Let them know shit right then and there. If you got a problem with some shit they do, let them know then and there. You need to talk about something. Hey, let me holler at you. Come here. Hey, I don't like it when you be over there in them niggas' face like that. What the fuck is up with that? You used to, you want to be single? You want to still mingle with men? I understand. I back off. Oh, no. Because a lot of them want to sit there and act like they don't fucking know they're doing something wrong. And see, me, I done got to where when I see it, I'm gone. Just like I was texting with a woman. I don't know how long ago, but it's a bitch I used to fuck. Just texting with her. She hit me up. I, all right. Just small talk, you know, here and there. Had a couple phone conversations. All right. She asked the fuck. I was like, I'll think about it. Then I was like, yeah, let's fuck. But I was like, no, I'm abstinent. And I've been on this journey. And I really don't want to just fuck it up for, you know, just some fucking shit I already know what it's about. You know what I'm saying? I really don't want nothing over there. So... It's like you got a fucking, I lost my train of thoughts. I forgot what I was going to say. But it's like, you just got to say shit right then and there. Just like I was just like, you know what? I don't think I'm going to do anything because I'm not going to be, you know, doing all of this work and throw it away. But I know what I was saying. But we were texting and she said something to me. I was talking about um, something I had made for me and my father to eat. And she said, oh, well, maybe you can cook for me. That was it. That was, that was it. That was it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I wish I fucking would cook for a woman. And I'm going to tell you why I say that. I say that because any broad I talk to. You know I'm over here, a whole caregiver, by myself. And I don't even got much time to talk and text to you because I'm busy as fuck. Let alone time to make my videos. And bitch, you gonna ask me to cook for your funky ass? Man, fuck you. I ain't even said shit else. But one, let, one word responses. And that be what? Days and shit after she done text me. 
So it's just like, man, I don't, I don't deal with shit. If I don't want to deal with that shit, I walk immediately. I act funny immediately. I stop texting immediately. All that shit. Dead ass. I don't have nothing to say immediately. <laughs> because I'm not going to sit around here and teach a bitch how to fucking think. If you can't think, you ain't going to fucking sit around here and try to fucking ting, ting, tinker with your fucking brain and help you, help your ass activate that motherfucker. If your brain ain't already fucking activated, I can't fuck with you. And, I, and, I, and I'm thinking like, why would this bitch think I'm finna cook for her? Bitch, I'm not finna cook you shit. You can come over here and cook for me. And you talking about fucking trying to kill me? I'm learning. A lot of you bitches just want somebody to fuck you and throw your ass to the side. You used to have the right motherfucker, but over here, I ain't with that shit no more. I'm sorry. That's too much work, and I fuck too damn good just to be throwing that shit everywhere in any kind of way. Because your motherfuckers got now start catching all them feelings and all that old shit. It be the ones talking about, oh, I don't catch feelings, and oh, you better not catch feelings. And I be shaking my head. I don't catch no fucking feelings. Period. I don't even catch feelings for a bitch I love. Let that sink in. I've been slinging my dick across fucking Atlanta, Alabama, Tennessee, New York, New fucking Jersey, Pennsylvania, Texas. Man, let me tell you something. I am tired of fucking bitches for no reason. Understand? So when I say I done had enough motherfucking pussy to last me the rest of my life, believe me, I ain't lying. The rest of these niggas will be lying. <laughs> the rest of them will be fucking lying to you. I ain't lying to you. I ain't got no reason to. <laughs> so that is why you have modern women. And that is why niggas would rather go get a happy ending rather than a friend with benefits. Because friend with benefits don't even realize that they're a friend with benefits. They want to sit on the phone and you got to text these hoes good morning and speak to them every day and entertain them when they say hello to you. Or otherwise, you can't get no more pussy because they and they feelings because you ain't spoke to them. I'd rather just pay for pussy. I used to fucking feel like niggas were suckers for paying for pussy, but now I understand why niggas pay for pussy. I do. Because they want you to know it ain't love, it ain't friendship, it ain't shit. Get the fuck out. Nut and go. I understand now. Completely. And I don't, I'm not saying I, 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 I ain't finna do no shit like that. But I'm good being abstinent. I never thought I'd be saying that, but I am. But anyway, I ain't trying to make this shit no hour, but it did take me a while to break this shit down and factor in and help you understand why you got modern fucking women. And then, like I said, to solidify this shit, just fucking turn off everything you were ever taught and do not accept their shit that they're trying to give you. And you know when it's shit, you know that shit, you feel that shit and you talk to your friends about this shit. You talk to niggas like me about this fucking shit. All right. So cut it out. Don't let them do it. A bitch can't be fucking nothing. You don't let her be. Understand? So if you got to tell that motherfucker what the fuck it is and hurt her feelings, then tell her. Tell her. Tell them. And then you got all these little, little fat women. What's up with y'all little fat girls with these attitudes, man? Why all the little fat girls got attitudes? And then y'all stop meeting people and letting us know you fat. We see you. We know you fat. We looking at you. 
We looking at you. Then y'all have an attitude and just because you're happy with yourself, everybody else got to accept that shit. No, man. People going to start cracking down on that shit too. But there's some motherfuckers out here that like fat women. Hell, I like me a couple of fat women every now and then. But I don't want a wife one. I'm just keeping it a buck. Now you got nothing. Man, listen, let me tell you something. I done boink plenty of them. Boom, boom. Rock they world. I don't discriminate. But I'm going to tell you something. You ain't even wife And y'all women stop getting with motherfuckers and getting fat. That shit ain't cool. That shit lame as fuck. Stop doing that fucking wild ass shit. Cut it out, man. That shit lame. And stop getting with niggas and stop fucking goddamn doing all the shit you did to get that motherfucker. Because I know a nigga like me, I don't stop nothing I'm doing. I don't stop opening no doors. I don't stop complimenting your ass. I don't stop sending flour to your job. I don't stop sending shit to your job, making little co-workers mad. None of that shit if you work. I don't stop fucking you right. None of that. So, I, I always end up with motherfuckers who just fucking turn up with their head. I'm like, man, bitch, what the fuck, man? Everybody, even the dude, <laughs> even the dude, <laughs> all y'all motherfuckers can't keep up your fucking act, your facade. You can't keep it up. So like I said, I'm done fucking giving my time to people. Enough. Enough is enough. The next, the next chapter of my life is for me. I'm going to be fucking happy. And, and, and if a motherfucker can't accept what I say, I don't give a fuck. I don't care. I ain't got no friends. I don't got no fucking friends. I have family. I ain't got no damn friends. Please. And it ain't lonely. I ain't lonely. I'm quite content. With my echo. Echo! <coughs> Like I said, so, uh, y'all, that is why you got modern fucking women, all right? I'm done preaching. I'm done evangelisting. I'm, I'm done being evangelistic. Ah, holy shit. Ah. <laughs> I'm done. I am going to, um, take me another shower. I took a shower a couple hours ago, but after this video, uh, I think I'll take another. Mm. I gotta get out of here, y'all. That's my time. Peace.